Fortnite Season 7 is coming to a close fast. So, with Season 8 just around the corner, you best believe that the floodgates have opened. That's right. Bunch of crush told me there are leaks coming out about the next season coming from every single direction. Listen, what's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy, Keith Allen, today. We're going to be going over some of the biggest Fortnite leaks that you need to know about for Chapter 2 Season 8. Let me ask you this. Do you guys want to hit the ground running when it comes to performing well in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8? Well, all you need to do is head on over to ProGuys.com. Our team of world-class Fortnite coders are ready and waiting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to help you guys improve fast. There is literally like no better way to improve at Fortnite, so head on over there right now to hire a coach. Alright, Question Crush Summit, it's time for the question of the day. You know, every single time a new season is released, Epic Games makes some massive changes to the game. Today, we want to know what you want Epic to change about Fortnite this season. Let us know your pick in the comments down below, and we're definitely going to check it out. So before we can start talking about what's going to happen in the next season, we kind of need to talk about how we're going to get there. You know, after the 17.40 and the 17.50 updates, brand new files for an upcoming event were uncovered by data miners. Originally data mined from 17.40, we got our first look at files mentioning something codenamed Skyfire, which has now started counting down. The countdown, which is now in-game, leads right up to September the 12th, which is also the end date for Season 7. The Skyfire event will involve the destruction of the mothership. Hidden underneath Corny Complex is a series of bombs which are going to explode to bring the ship down. According to data miners, it will likely land straight into Misty Meadows, destroying the area completely. After that, as discovered in the files from 17.50, the game will immediately go into downtime and will be unable to play until the next season drops, just like the Black Hole and Galactus events in the past. Usually, you know, we don't get leaked skins for upcoming season, but season 8 seems to be just a little bit different in that regard. First of all, there's the Naruto crossover. We first heard about the potential for a Naruto skin in Fortnite when it was leaked that Epic had actually considered a Naruto crossover during the Apple vs. Epic court case. Considering there were a bunch of, you know, other skins featured on that document that haven't even come out yet, you know, it would be easy to think that this leak was dead and gone. But that's really not the case at all. You know, later on, it was revealed that Epic Games had been working with the company that actually owns the video game licenses of certain anime properties. And one of those IPs that the company owns was none other than Naruto himself. The cherry on the cake, guys, was a more recent leak, which occurred on Reddit. This leaker claimed, amongst a bunch of other things that we're going to talk about later, that Naruto would be, in fact, coming to Fortnite. With this news coming from three separate locations, it seems pretty sure that Naruto will be coming to the Fortnite island in Season 8. However, Naruto isn't the only skin that we know about set to be released in the upcoming season. For a start, leakers have determined that a new Walking Dead crossover should be coming sometime during this month. Now, whether that will be happening you know, before Season 8 releases or not is currently unknown, but it's looking pretty likely that the skins will be coming in Season 8, not Season 7. According to the leaker, Tone XM on Twitter, and backed up by Hypex, we could also be getting a mummy in the new season. That's not the only Egyptian-themed skin that was uncovered as part of the latest update. There was also the Arc, which came with the Shattered Hope Back Bling and Dark Blessing Harvesting Tool. We've already got in-game footage of Dark floating around, so she definitely exists. All of these skins are backed up by the fact that the data miners have already uncovered an upcoming Pyramid POI as well as a desert-themed loading screen. Alright guys, so obviously we've kind of already brushed over new map locations being a feature of Season 8 by mentioning the new Pyramid POI that should be coming to the game, but that's not all we can look forward to going into this season. First and foremost, the Pyramid POI POI is going to be surrounded by an area of desert. Of course, this isn't the first time there has been a desert on the Chapter 2 Fortnite map, though, you know, whether mechanics like sand tunneling will return or not is currently unclear. However, if the loading screen is anything to really go by, this area may be more of a post-apocalyptic than, you know, ancient Egyptian one. Another area that the leaks include is also the crash site. Obviously, this ties into the event that we spoke about earlier. You know, we know that the alien ship is going to be brought down somewhere, most likely Misty Meadows. Well, if the leaks are anything to go by, Misty Meadows is going to be taken off the map completely and will be replaced with the crash site POI, which will obviously be taken up by at least, you know, part of the down mothership. The final leak POI is probably the most interesting. It's called Cube. 
cubes. All right, we're going to talk more about Kevin the Cube later in this video, but it seems like in the upcoming season, there's going to be an entire location dedicated to the popular Fortnite character, which will probably end up looking, you know, pretty similar to the floating island from back in chapter one. During the floating island season, there were a bunch of baby cubes present, showing off how Kevin was infecting the area. It seems like we're going to get that on a much bigger scale in the next season. Obviously, the next season is going to be coming out right before Halloween, which means that you know we should be expecting Halloween-themed content to emerge once again over the course of Season 8. You know, one of the major spooky elements featured in this season is going to be a brand new mechanic that has been dubbed the Sideways. Alright, so this new mechanic will actually be an alternate dimension, which was originally leaked by the Reddit leaker that we mentioned earlier. They claim that the Sideways would feature in the game as an alternate dimension that was similar to the Upside Down from Stranger Things. This means that players will likely be able to enter this alternate dimension in some way or another. However, monsters will also be able to emerge from it. From other leaks, we also know that new Halloween zombies have been added to the game files. In this case, it has been codenamed Zigzag, which can maybe hint, you know, the way the zombie, you know, having some kind of crazy movement patterns. You know, this zombie will feature alongside the brute and friend zombies that have actually showed up on the Fortnite island a few times over the course of the past Halloween events. Alright, so the first time zombies came into the game, it was once again due to the Kevin the Cube's corruption. So there's a big chance that this will be the case again on the Chapter 2 Fortnite Island. Kevin the Cube has been seen multiple times over the past few weeks, first in the Ariana Grande concert and then yet again in the Imposters game mode. According to those Reddit leaks once again, the Cube will be returning and it can be controlled by a brand new Queen character who is apparently going to be a major part of Chapter 3's storyline. So we're not going to worry about that until maybe like next summer. You know, ever since the Fortnite Island was flooded back in Season 3, there have been a whole bunch of strange and wonderful creatures roaming across the waters and hills. From sharks to chickens to even raptors and alien parasites, there seems to be no end to potential creatures showing up. Well, if leaks from back in June are to be believed, there is going to be even more animals coming to the game, and this time, you're going to be able to ride them. Like in June, Hapex leaked that in the upcoming seasons, there would actually be rideable wildlife as a brand new class that was going to be added to the game that related to the riding of animals. At the time, this feature was pretty early in the status of its development, but Epic likes to work really fast, so if that feature isn't ready to come out, it'll definitely be out soon. This was backed up more recently by that Reddit leak. That's not it for animals either, like because in July, Hypex made another data mine discovery. According to him, Epic was working on something new, which had been codenamed an avion. Now, for those of you that are not really up to speed with your animal classifications, no worries, an avion, it's either a bird or a bird-like flying creature. If avians are introduced to the game, they'll be the first truly flying animal in Fortnite. Uh, let's be honest, we're not counting either chickens or fireflies here, alright? Perhaps the most unlikely of all the leaks that we're going to be talking about today is actually the return of Fort Bites. Now, if you don't remember, Fort Bites were collectible items that could be grabbed by completing tasks around the map during Chapter 1 Season 9. You know, there were small microchips, right, to match with the futuristic theme of the Season 9, and really unlocking at least 90 of them gave players the ability to unlock the Singularity skin. People have pretty, you know, mixed opinions toward Fort Bites, but it really looks like they're going to be making a return anyway. So in Update 17.50, a bunch of brand new Fort Bites sound effects were added into the game files. What do Fort Bites have to do with Halloween theme season that seems to have a post-apocalyptic Egyptian thing going on? I don't know, but maybe the mothership is going to drop them to the island when it goes down. I guess only time is going to tell. So those are the biggest leaks that we think that you need to know before going forward in the upcoming chapter. You know, it looks like there are going to be some pretty big changes hitting the island. Island, man, from brand new anime skins to the biggest map changes that the Chapter 2 Island has ever seen to the return of the mechanic that, you know, some people probably hope will never come back. You know, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are super hyped for the upcoming season, man. I'm telling you, it's going to go down. It's going to be dope. If you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And once again, connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Man, I believe in you guys, so keep going. Never quit. Never surrender, man. Get hyped. Get pumped up because this season could be your best season and yet you never know so don't give up on yourself and don't be discouraged but be encouraged because you can do anything man I'm telling you put your mind to it put your grind in and uh make history i'll see you in the next one peace